Welcome back. Now, I want to bring your attention to an awful headline you may have seen this week, and it's one you've probably glanced over far too many times. If you've got teenagers looking to travel now that the borders are open, young adults in your home ready to spread their wings overseas and have some fun, it's worth getting them to watch this. A young British couple were critically injured when they were involved in a crash on their scooter in Bali. The man, 29-year-old Alex Hoyle, remains in a coma with head injuries and a broken back. Now, how often do you read a headline similar to that? So often, I dare say many of us have become immune to the shock of it. In fact, most people probably didn't even open the story. Why would you? It's the same old thing. It happens far too often. And so many young Australians travelling lose their precious lives this way. In fact, every 17 hours, one of our own dies in Southeast Asia, many of them on the roads. Meanwhile, Australians are six and a half times more likely to be killed in a traffic accident in Thailand than at home. Why? One of the reasons. Why is it that when holidaying overseas, all the general rules and common sense that we exercise normally goes completely out the window? It's like the serious consequences of carefree behaviour just don't exist in foreign countries, but they do. And I know this firsthand, as does my next guest. The statistics I just rattled off to you include her sister and one of my close friends, Nicole. She was 24, beautiful, a dancer and an aspiring journalist. I worked with her on the footy show. Her life was tragically lost in a motorbike accident in Thailand back in 2012. Her little sister, Kate, has dedicated her life to stopping other young people suffering the same fate. And I'm pleased to say she joins me now. Kate, so lovely to see you. First of all, how raw is the loss of, of knickers, as you call her, for you and your family still? Ten years on and I'm telling you, we still feel it in our hearts every single day. And it's a big reason why I now do what I do to promote travel safety and especially among young people breaking that sense of invincibility that we feel but especially in those foreign countries where we think uh, like you said we can get away with it but we learn the hard way that you definitely can't. Tourism's ramping up again Kate in Southeast Asia particularly post-COVID we're going to see a lot of young Aussies in their teens their early 20s who haven't really traveled on their own overseas how important is it that they're aware of the dangers? <laughs> It's honestly, as I said, it can make the difference of life and death, whether they come home safely to the arms of their loved ones. And as a broken hearted sister, when I was like, is Nicole's accident just a random mistake? Was she just unlucky? And then when I began learning the statistics that you just shared, I thought, my goodness, if only my sister knew, she never would have gotten on that bike, especially without a helmet. And I think that there's so many young Aussies out there who are the same, who once they feel what they could put their family through or what could happen to their life, it can be the difference um, from stopping them taking that mistake that they once thought was funny. Uh, we've got to go. We don't have a lot of time. But very quickly, you are so blunt when you deliver this, and I think that's the most powerful way with young people. You need to be really blunt. What's the reaction? What kind of reaction do you get? Well, when you have 17, 18 year old boys that are usually towering over me, moved to tears and just saying, I would never want to put my family through that. I can't, um, I can't even comprehend what that's like. I do know that it stays with them to the point that I get messages from them while they're on holidays with the travel safety guide of Nicole's foundation um, as a reminder with them. So I know that they are carrying it forward with them wherever they go in the world. You are an incredible human being. It's such an honour to call you a friend. Thank you so much. I know that work that you do saves lives. So thank you, Kate. Really appreciate it.